Uh, but let me ask you some specific questions about the cancellation of the Constellation program. Uh, whose idea was it to, or who made that recommendation to cancel Constellation? Senator, the, the decision and the discussion that went on is pre-decisional, and, and I think, as you know, I'm, I am not at liberty to, to discuss pre-decisional information. So was there a consensus then of all those on the committee that this was the right thing to do? I'm not clear as to which committee. You, well, you're, in this decision-making process, was it uh, unanimous that Constellation be canceled? Senator, I, as I said before, you know, I am one component of the discussion that goes into any presidential decision. And, and that information or, the, or that pre-decisional discussion that I have with the president, uh, I'm not at liberty to share with anyone. I, I don't know what the input was from, from others uh, that I may never have talked to. When you talk about a plan of getting to the moon or Mars someday, what, are, what is your view of what the steps are going to be to get there? Sir, the steps are pretty complex and complicated. We've got to, first of all, um, sit down and look at where we are in terms of, of the Constellation program and what was in it. Uh, we need to make sure that we don't throw away the baby with the bathwater. We need to determine what technologies and, and what smaller projects are worthy of retaining because uh, that will tell us how much we actually have to expend in terms of brand new technology or brand new assets. Um, so that's the first step. The, the next step is actually to sit down and, and say, okay, the way that we generally start is if we're trying to get to Mars, um, and I, it's, I will use Mars since that is the ultimate destination, what do we need from what we have, what we know exists today, uh, what do we need to enable us to get there as soon as possible? Are we going to go to the moon first before we go to Mars? You will. My thought is that you will inevitably have to go to the moon, but you'll spend a lot of time on the International Space Station now that we're going to have it there until 2020, developing some of the technologies. Um, Mr. Administrator, you, you highlighted a top goal of this budget to inspire school children. Yes, sir. Talked about uh, middle school kids. Um, and I'm looking for that inspiring nugget. Um, I haven't found it yet. Senator, I can give you I mean, the inspiring what is the quote. Quote, yes, quote, Mars is the focus of our design reference mission, close quote. I can tell you, I have two seventh graders at home. That's not going to inspire. S Senator, I don't what, want. What is the yes, quote? Senator, I don't want a seventh grader to think about Mars. I want a seventh grader to get excited when, when in his or her classroom, uh, they have an opportunity to communicate, to talk personally with astronauts on the International Space Station as we frequently have them do almost every month. When the president communicated with uh, Expedition 22 uh, increment astronauts and the STS-130 crew last week um, and, and was surrounded by school students who had an opportunity to communicate with them, they were inspired. I can, I can trust me, uh, I could look at their eyes. The president is inspired when he has an opportunity to do that. We are going to inspire children by having an opportunity for them to interface and interact with astronauts on the International Space Station now, thanks to this budget, until 2020. I'll be honest with you. I'm afraid they're going to look at the messages of this budget, and if they want to be an astronaut, they're going to conclude, forget it. Yes, sir. That's my concern. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Administrator, what relation does this very dramatic change of vision have with anything laid out in the Augustine Commission. I mean, point us to a page of the Augustine Commission report that really suggests anything like this. Senator, with all due respect, I, you know, I, I don't really think that this is a radical departure from, it's not a radical departure from the vision for space exploration, if I can say, and it's not a radical departure from any other visions or, or dreams that people have had about going to space. Uh, what is different is it funds what is necessary to realize that vision. I, I, somebody once told me a, a vision without resources is, is a hallucination. Uh, if you look at where we were prior to the 2011 budget, we were living a hallucination. We had a great, I won't use the term great, we had a vision for getting to 
back to the moon, getting to Mars and other places in our solar system, but we did not have the funding to do it. We didn't have the assets to do it. We now have the assets to make an orderly progression to getting humans to a place like Mars, and I'm confident that we can do that. Again, I just disagree. I believe the consensus opinion reaction to this budget is that it is a radical departure. And if vision without resources is a hallucination, resources without vision is a waste of time and money. And, and that's what I think this, this budget represents. Uh, Mr. Administrator, fin final question. You said you're a member of the NASA family, and you are. And I absolutely uh, know uh, that you want all the best for those folks and, and feel for them and are supportive of them. But this budget canceling every major internal human spaceflight program in sight, most obviously Constellation, uh, extends their gap, as I said, to infinity. So what do you tell those people in the NASA family? Senator, as I have told them in the last two weeks or so since the budget came out, uh, I tell them I, I don't know how they feel. Um, my kids are 38 and 33, and they're out of school. Um, so I don't know what a young engineer with a 15-year-old kid feels like right now. I know they're hurting. And um, if they happen to be a civil servant, I can tell them that they're going to be okay because they're going to have a job. But then as a young lady told me at Johnson Space Center, I don't want a job. I want to be able to come to work every day and feel that I'm making a difference. 